Hi, this is Dan with Kurotatsu Studios again, and I uh, want to show you some new stuff with uh, Creation Wizard. I've tried to automate the process as much as I can to uh, help you with getting started with generic models as well as humanoid ones. So here we go. This is the new Creation Wizard. I've added uh, options for you to be able to put in animations from the get-go. Alright, so we can go ahead and name our... I'm going to do a spider here. And uh, this free, this fantasy spider is available on the asset store for free. So you can check it out. Now what we have is uh, create unique folder. Now what this does is at this path it'll create a, a folder with this name of this object and inside it's going to have a unique uh, animator controller for it and uh, avatar mask and then as before create the prefab so let's grab some of these this is a generic model as you can see up here so let's go ahead and grab some of his animations and uh, throw them in here now he only has two attacks which is fine and we'll grab one of his death animations here. Then uh, his idol. Now, since he only has one idol, let's put it for all these different states. Let's grab his walk animation here. And retreat walk, make it the same. Grab his run. He does have his own jumping animation, so we'll go ahead and add it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's do a chase attack, too, because we always like that. It doesn't really need a ranged attack, but I'll just grab an animation for it. and Maybe you'll make him ranged, and uh, he'll be able to do one of his animations, just shoot a fireball, just for looks. Let's see here. His hit animations, he only has two. Now, if you uh, don't check hit directional, then uh, it'll always just use the, f the front hit animation. But if you put all his animations in here like I just did, you could do hit directional so it would give you a little bit of variation. All right, now we've pretty much got his uh, attacks in there. And uh, if you did want to add one of these same attacks but give it uh, say a go ragdoll every now and again you could do that and then jump your amount of attacks up to three instead of two here so all right here's our generic model let's get him going there's our little editor thing okay now if you look in the where I sent it you've got his prefab model and now you've got his own animator and he has his own animator mask now if he was humanoid it'd be a little bit easier because he could just use what masks I already have in here because that's set up for uh, for a humanoid but what we want to do now is we've got a new mask so let's go down to his model and let's put his avatar in there import the skeleton. Now that's all set up for us. Now we can uh, go ahead in his animator and we need to switch out all these masks from uh, to the new one on everything but the movement. do this real quick so I can show you how. He really won't have a get up animation but that doesn't matter. Now this closed fist uh, layer, go ahead and ignore that. That's mostly for humanoids to keep their their hands closed around their swords and this first one needs to be blank. Okay. Now we've got those set up. He oughta 
just uh, let me turn off the, the demo guys here now this spider ought to do pretty much most everything that we want him to we can go by and uh, let's automatically set up his uh, make sure you select him I almost set it up on that guy select him and then set up his defaults here and let's make him wander around okay I'm going to go ahead and turn on his chase attack because uh, and his dynamic jumping. All right, now let's see how he works. There he is. Oh, saw me. He's walking. He's got his chase attack. He's only doing one attack because I did forget to set up his. Uh, Two attacks. Ah, get up there, dummy. There he comes. Go away, spider. Oh, I lost him. Oh, there he comes. We're see if I can kill him. Oh my God, he got me. All right, let's see here. <laughs> that wasn't cool. All right, let's give him his two attacks. And I did change this because before I had it uh, in the GUI to where you'd switch this and it automatically switch down here. But the problem was is uh, it keep looping in the U uh, in the GUI update, and then when you tried to add something, it would just keep going blank. So you do have to manually set this to match your number of attack animations now. But here we go. Let's see if he has two attacks. And if I can kill him. Uh, let's watch him wander first. Oh, there he goes. Here. Get back. There's one. Come on. Show me a different one. There you go. Yep. He's doing his two attacks. Oh, God, he's dead. I don't like that death animation as much as his other one, so let's switch that. I like the one where he flips over. Oh, no. He's getting me. He was mad. Attacking fast. <laughs> there you go all right well that's uh setting up uh generic models there uh, try to make it a little quicker but uh i hope you like it and uh let i'll see you in the future in more videos thanks for your time